Showbiz Over Realm Baroness Karen Brady blasts Meg for exploiting royal fame to create Hollywood image. Baroness Karen Brady has hit out at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for exploiting royal fame mercilessly in the U.S. as they continue to mix in showbiz circles across the pond. Karen Brady has blasted Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for clinging to their titles and exploiting royal fame to create a showbiz image for themselves. Last week, the Duchess of Sussex donned a gold dress and went to the 2023 Women of Vision Awards in New York City, where she looked every inch an A-list star. Meghan was joined by her mother, Doria Raglan, and husband, Prince Harry, as they posed for pictures on the red carpet. When the former Suits actress has been a senior royal in the UK, she had admitted only wearing muted tones to blend in with other members of the royal family. However, for the Women of Vision event, she opted for a strapless metallic gold dress designed by Joanna Ortiz, a Colombian designer, and retailing at £1,483. Karen said of Meghan's appearance, What struck me is that she seems to be aiming for a rebrand. More and more, it looks like Meghan and Harry are placing themselves in showbiz rather than the royal realm. She continued in her column, Their brand has got no value in the UK due to their decision to leave the royal family, at the same time as clinging to their titles and exploding royal fame mercilessly. Meghan coordinated her new glamorous look with strappy gold Tom Ford heels, a small gold clutch from Catalina Herrera, gold J. Crew earrings, and a stack of gold and diamond bracelets. I rarely wore color, Markle said in the third episode of Netflix's Harry and Meghan docuseries, reflecting on her time as a senior royal. The Duchess, who married Prince Harry in 2018, added that there was thought in that, explaining that she did not want to wear the same shade as another member of the family at events. The event also marked the first joint public event for the Sussexes since Prince Harry attended the King's coronation, with Meghan staying home in California with their two kids. Although the couple did recently step out for a sushi dinner with Gwyneth Paltrow and other celebs, for that sushi dinner, Meghan wore a brown dress designed by Heidi Merrick paired with Hermes Oran sandals. She accessorized with gold hoop earrings and seemed to carry sunglasses in her hand. Prince Harry kept it casual in a black t-shirt and white pants. Before that, Harry and Meghan have been accused of exploiting the Queen for Netflix and making their top-secret trip for Clear the Air talks with the elderly monarch and Prince Charles at Windsor to please American producers of their upcoming documentary. A royal expert has claimed that the Duke and Duchess, who have not been in the UK together since they acrimoniously quit as senior working royals, made the secret visit all for their Netflix documentary. Speaking to Mail Online, Meghan's acid pen biographer, Tom Bauer, sensationally branded the Sussexes the royal family's worst traducers and accused the couple of exploiting an old, unwell woman to boost their credibility in coffers. Meanwhile, a royal correspondent, Robert Jobson, said that it was significant that William and Kate were not involved in the meeting. The brothers' relationship has been at rock bottom since Harry pressed the nuclear button on his royal life. Netflix is expected to send a camera crew to follow Harry and Meghan when they meet the Ukraine team of the Invictus Games for injured military veterans in the Netherlands for their documentary about the Paralympic-style games, the Invictus Games.